Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 11 without using a Microsoft account. So, this has been something that has been pushed on users of Windows, um, Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um, over the past several years, that Microsoft has made it very apparent that they want their users running Microsoft-based accounts to sign in. They don't want people using local user accounts. So with newer builds of Windows 11, uh, the older builds, I mean, we can start off there. There used to be an option to select I don't have internet, and then you could create a local account. So underneath the sign-in options, if I were to go under here, there used to be an option to proceed with a local account. Now, it appears that in some older builds of Windows 11, that option is still there. And then for the professional version, it may still be there, but I just downloaded this uh, Windows 11 ISO directly from Microsoft today and this is what it shows so you can clearly see there's no options here and I am following the Windows 11 Home Edition here by the way so just if we were to go back it doesn't give you any options to create a local account so again sign in options doesn't give you that option so what we're gonna do is we actually have to completely disconnect from the internet first so you might want to just take notes. It's only going to be a couple things we're going to do once we're done this point. So you might just want to take note of that. So if you have an Ethernet connection into this computer, you want to just disconnect it at this point. If not, watch the next couple minutes of this video and then disconnect your router from the wall. Or if you need to pull your network card out of your desktop or if you have a little USB dongle with internet, you want to just disconnect it physically. Um, it would make it a lot easier, honestly, just for a couple minutes while you go through the ins installation process, and then you can promptly reconnect it back in. So anyway, what we're going to do at this point, now that we're on the screen to add a Microsoft account, you want to tap the Shift and F10 key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, Shift and F10. You want to type in O-O-B-E backslash by... B Y P A S S N R O. Exactly how you see it on my screen here. So I have it all lowercase. I believe you can do all uppercase as well. So just go ahead and hit enter once you have it on my screen here. And again, you want to make sure you're disconnected from your Wi Fi. So let me just go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, so I just disabled my network card, so that just took a moment there. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the installation. Basically just research your computer here, and go ahead and select yes. If you didn't do it correctly, you didn't do it in time, it's just going to have to make you go through that process that we did with the command prompt before, so I'm just going to have to go ahead and do that a second time if necessary. It's not the end of the world though. And just give it a moment here. Now you can see that this page is different than what we had before. So now there's an option, I don't have internet. Go ahead and select that. Okay, so at this point, again, continue with limited setup. So you go ahead and left click on that. Now I do want to point out, if it's not giving you guys an option to proceed here and it's saying you have to connect to the internet, something you can try, again, if you tap Shift and F10 at this point, you can go ahead and type in task, T-A-S-K, M G R. So again, T A S K M G R. Hit Enter. Expand more details, and then you go and look for something that says Network Connection Flow. Again, if you were connected to the network here, you go ahead and look for Network Connection Flow, and then you would right-click on it and you would End Task. I do not have it in here, but you would see it in this listing here. So again, Network Connection Flow. You'd right-click on it and end task. However, you can see that was not preventing us from continuing here. And that's probably why, because the process isn't even running. But if it was, you'd want to go ahead and terminate it, like I just showed you guys how you would do it if you saw it in that case. And go ahead and, again, continue with limited setup. I just wanted to make sure I show that before I proceed here, because if I didn't, there may not be another opportunity in this video to show that. So then at this point, you should be good to go, guys. I'm not going to make you wait through the rest of the installation process, but you can see we've made it a lot further than we did previously here. And you just would go ahead and make your privacy settings, whatever you want, and then you would accept. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Not really much more to show here. Toolbox I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.